Hello and welcome to yet another Nuclear Craft update video. Now we're doing version 2.16. It's quite a short on this, only four things in the change log that I constructed. Um, but the first thing is quite major, condensation tubes. So condensation tubes complete the ranking cycle, the two-stage ranking cycle that we have set up here. The condensation tubes are sitting in that heat exchanger there. So they go inside a heat exchanger. Um, they are configured in pretty much the same way as before. So you can place them down. Uh, you can configure them. So for example, I could have my input here. I could have my, uh, my, my input spread. We'll spread both the input and the product out. And then as usual, I can spread along. I can even use different types of uh, tube if I wanted to. And then I can have my product out at the end. So that's basically how you configure them. It's exactly the same as with the, uh, the normal tubes. Um, and the way they work basically is, first of all, uh, they need to sit next to a, uh, a fluid that is colder than the output uh, condensation temperature. So if we look inside the recipes here, um, by default there are two recipes, exhaust steam to condensate water and low quality steam to condensate water. And you can see here that they have different condensing temperatures. So the exhaust steam has a condensing temperature of 500, the low quality steam has a condensing temperature of 350. And you need to make sure that the temperature of the fluid that it's sitting next to in this heat exchanger is lower. Um, if you have fluids that are um, hotter sitting next to the tubes, then they will, I think, uh, they will actually uh, either not contribute or they will take away from the contribution. Either way, you do not want to make, you want to make sure that you have very, very cold fluids in here. So there's like liquid helium, liquid nitrogen, all sorts of different cold fluids. There are cold fluids in other mods like cryothium from thermal uh, foundation and all sorts of, sorts of things like that. So um, this uh, liquid helium is 4 Kelvin and uh, basically the calculation you want to do to find the, the bonus uh, speed. So by default there's a, there's a speed of uh, 1, let's say just call it 1, speed of uh, 1 for every uh, fluid, colder fluid, sitting next to the tube and then the bonus per adjacent fluid is equal to the logarithm of the ratio of the temperatures of the fluids. So for example, uh, let's say that our condensing temperature in here is 350 Kelvin because this is low quality steam. Uh, liquid helium has a temperature of 4 Kelvin, 350 divided by 4 is about 87 and the natural log of 87 is probably something like 4 or 5, it's probably 5 and uh, that means that you now have a speed, a total speed for that liquid helium uh, contribution of 6, so it's 1 plus 5 from the bonus is 6 and you notice here that each of these tubes are sitting next to two pieces of liquid helium so that's a sort of um, multiplier of 12 overall and then also um, an overall multiplier for the entire speed uh, including the bonus is actually just in the conductivity multiplier of the material and that's 125 uh, percent so 12 times 125 percent um, so 125 percent of 12 is uh, 15 so that means that each of these uh, condensation tubes has a speed of 15 and you of course use that in your calculations to work out how many you need and so forth. Okay so that's uh, that's pretty much how they work so that was quite a big feature quite important one. Um, next thing uh, slow acting right away I think Pine of the Discord server um, suggested this I may be wrong about that but I think it, that was that was who it was and uh, basically what this does is it acts as a very uh, slow uh, rate right away so uh, it removes the same amount by default, you can configure that to be different, um, but you can see that the rate is 25 millirads per tick. If you look at normal right away, um, you will see that the rate is 5 rads per tick. This is 25 millirads per tick, significantly less by default, but it removes the same amount. So it will sit there for a very, very long time and uh, slowly eat away at your radiation, which is quite good for areas um, in your world which are not quite as uh, dangerously radioactive, but you still want to make sure that uh, that radiation value doesn't slowly creep up. So you can use this to keep it at bay, which is quite useful. Uh, third thing, added NC recipes to GTCE or Greg Tech Community Edition. Um, so thanks very much f to Firewolf for the initial pull requests. Um, and thanks to Pine for splitting up the configs so that uh, you can now enable it for different nuclear craft machines. But basically what will happen is that the recipes for nuclear craft machines will put, be put into various Greg Tech machines um, if you have it enabled. Um, so that's useful for people who are making uh, Greg Tech packs and want all the recipes from the nuclear craft machines. Um, and I don't have Greg Tech installed so I can't show that off, but it does work. Hopefully if you use it, if you find a bug with it as ever, let me know. Uh, I think there was actually a bug with it until a couple of versions ago where it wasn't adding all the recipes, but now it should be. And then the final thing is the decay generator, the mean lifetimes are now configurable. Well, isn't, that is super exciting. So basically, if you look at the uh, the uses of this thing, 
Um, you can see like 62 minutes, 20 minutes, and so forth. Um, all of these recipes used to be hard coded. You can now go into the config and change them. Um, and that is pretty much everything for 2.16. So thank you very much for watching. That was the literally the third time I tried to record the 2.16 video. Finally, it works. My goodness. Um, and I will see you in 2.17. See you then.